everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So Redhead Boo here again and as you can probably tell from the ears and the t-shirt this video is going to be another Disney video and it is another Disney Cruise video. So if you did check out my Disney week I did a few videos each day before my cruise. I am now back from the cruise sad face. I had the best time ever. I met so many amazing people including the Fab Five. You guys know who you are and yeah. And this video is actually going to be a recap of my bucket list so I can see if I managed to achieve any of the items on the list and any that I wasn't lucky enough to achieve and maybe look into achieving them in the future, fingers crossed, since I'm now a silver member because I've been on one cruise. So yeah. But before I start, yesterday I completely forgot that I needed to show one more thing which I bought, which I downloaded onto my phone, so I should be able to show you guys it. Let me just get it up. So sometimes around the ship there would be a um, professional photographer and they would take your photo for you and then you could like go and scan your Keithra World card and check like the photos and I got a magic shot and this was the day that I met Chippendale with my Chippendale ears and they were amazing. And it was also the day that I went to Paolo for brunch and it's this. I fell in love with the photo as soon as I saw it and I was like, I have to buy it. And it was only, if I think it was around $20. Um, so it wasn't too bad and you could download it and just keep it forever. So... I decided that I had to get it. So, I'm, I'm just going to get started, you know. So the first item that was on my Magic at Sea bucket list was, as I board the Disney ship, get introduced by the crew and cast members. And I can happily say, yes, I did achieve that because it's in my vlog, so if you want to go watch it, give it a watch. I just, it didn't feel real because the amount of vlogs of like Adam Hatton and other people who I'd seen go on the Disney cruise and get introduced and I was like sat at home thinking one day I want that and when I found out they were doing it for the Magic at Sea sailings I was so happy and it was so emotional because like you were only let in, I think it was about th parties of about six or eight different groups because you had like a little welcome show as well which was absolutely adorable with Captain Mickey and Captain Minnie and because we were like the third group to um, actually get onto the ship we were the third group so we had like a view right in front of the stairs with Minnie Mouse there and then they swapped and Mickey was there and it was just absolutely incredible. So they announced us as Lucy and Emma and the cast member who introduced us, David, who was like entertainment person. He did bingo, he did quite a few like quizzes, game shows. He was amazing, fell in love with him. Didn't realise it was him until I watched a video back and I saw his name tag. So it was really, really cute. Um, he loved my outfit because that was the day I bounded as Donald and Jenny was there as well. So it was like my favourite cast members. Um, and it was just amazing. It was super emotional though because like as soon as you walked in, Mickey and Minnie were there waving, blowing kisses at you and it, it just felt so nice and it was amazing. Like it's definitely something I'll never ever forget. Okay, so number two was buy myself a new exclusive spirit jersey. Now, 
I achieved this, of course I did. That was the first item I bought when I went shopping, just because I thought it's exclusive to the ship, it might sell out, so I thought I have to get it. And I got it in a extra small, because that's what size I usually go for when I get a spirit jersey. Um, it's super cute. If you want to see what it looks like, then check out yesterday's video of my haul, because I do show it in that. And yeah, I love my spirit jersey a lot, but I've not actually worn it that much. Like, I wore it on disembarkation day, which was I regretted because it was boiling. Um, but I'm sort of hoping for like a bit cooler weather and then I can, can wear it and show it off because I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so item number three was buy myself a pair of Disney Cruise Line ears. Yes, I did also achieve this, so I bought the rose gold with like little anchors on the bow and they are also in my haul video, so if you want to see them, feel free to give that a watch. They were so cute and on, I think it was the last night, yeah, on the last night, I saw Mickey Mouse down in the atrium and... I had my Mickey Mouse Primark dress on as well. He saw that, fell in love with it. And he pointed to my ears and was like, I love them. And then he was like, I love you. And it was amazing. Like, it's been a childhood dream of mine to meet Mickey Mouse. And I met him so many times in amazing costumes as well. Not just like, like I met Captain Mickey, I think twice. And then I also met Mickey with Goofy in the Marvel morning where he was dressed as Captain America. And that meet was just so good because they were like, come up, come up, come say hi. And he looked amazing. They both looked incredible and definitely something I'll never, ever, ever forget. So number four, get amazing interactions with characters for my vlog and pose for photos with them. Yes, I also managed to achieve this because one of the interactions I desperately wanted to do was play fetch with Pluto. Um, and the only annoying thing was though, like, I didn't get to, I didn't see him until the second night, I think it was, on our way to animate his palette. I didn't see him until then. But we, obviously we couldn't stop because like we had to get down to our reservation and I was like I haven't seen him around much at all and then I think me and Louisa had just come out of Frozen Phrases I think it was and we had a little detour, oh no, was it the, it wasn't, it was after the trivia or was it, I don't, I can't remember when it was but I was in my, this t-shirt and my, it was after because I was in my Donald Duck ears, yes, and I was searching for him all over, I saw him on deck four, I believe, because yeah, it was deck four, I was in the atrium and me and Louisa just said, should we play a game of fetch with Pluto, because there, was, there wasn't many people around, because Quite a few people were outside in the sunshine. So I just thought, you know what, let's do it. So we shouted up to Pluto and we were like, look Pluto, we've got a bone, and you want to play a little game of fetch? And he absolutely loved it. I did get Louisa to film it as well and it is in the vlog. So if you want to see that clip, you can check it out. And it was so much fun and that interaction with him was hilarious and then every single time he saw me after he just wanted to play another game and again and again and I also did play a game and Donald got involved as well and the cast member like the little character attendant and it was just so much fun and the cast member was loving us for it so yeah amazing interaction I did manage to get a few like interactions of Goofy, Donald Daisy, I think that was it, yeah, and of course Chip and Dale, but yeah, 
definitely worth it for all the interactions. Even though characters at times were quite far away, the interactions were just so magical and yeah. And because like I went for it with every single character, they went for it with me and it was just brilliant. It was definitely worth it, 100%. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say about it. Just, and oh yeah, on the second night after the Frozen show, we had a bit of time to kill before dinner, I think it was, yeah. And we went into deck four and we, because we thought there was an appearing wave at about, oh, I can't remember what time it was. There was an appearing wave scheduled. So we went down, there was no character out, but we literally just sat down and chilled out. And then like a few minutes later, Goofy comes walking in around the corner and just like sits down, stands up, appearing and waving at people and it was for quite a while it was just us five and he was absolutely adoring us he was just playing up to the attention to the character and he was brilliant like goofy was amazing so 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 cute and i love him so yeah um item number five was try the disney cocktails on board in the evenings um I don't know if to class this as doing it, completing it or not. I think I will count it. Um, the only real time I did have a cocktail was in Lumiere's on the first evening. I had like a, I can't remember what it was called, but it was really, really good. Quite strong and quite, quite big as well. So you do have to be quite careful with the American cocktails because they are very strong. Um, and we did do the martini tasting and mixology as well, which is basically like mixing. Well, you couldn't mix the drinks yourself because of COVID, but the bartender did it for you. Then you got to drink them. So it was quite a lot of alcohol that night. And then that night especially as well, because the captain said, because we were the first official sailing, we were going to get free alcohol between... 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. on the pool decks and like the bars around the ship so of course we went and got free drinks so yeah it was really fun um item number six take part in karaoke on board the ship and show our experiences in club and bars um this one i'm gonna say i sadly did not achieve we couldn't really be bothered doing karaoke just because there was like so much going on around the ship. There was characters, there was like game shows, quizzes. Um, I'm trying to think what else we did. And we did get a bit of footage, I think, in Fathoms on Paul and Alex's YouTube channel. So if you wait for that, you might be able to see a bit of us lot enjoying fathoms um because we did go to like match your mate and pop and snippets i think it was called and we did i did disney trivia frozen phrases and like a 2000s music trivia as well and it was so much fun had an absolute blast of the extra stuff but yeah i don't think i'm gonna count that <laughs> Question number seven, try new Disney snacks and food at the restaurants during meal times. I think I did this, I achieved this definitely because I had like the free ice cream, I had a Mickey premium bar, like a little Mickey ice cream. Um, I had, what else did I have? And then on the, ev the evenings, I didn't just go for like bog standard chicken or curry. I had like lamb, steak, this amazing chicken from Rapunzel's Royal Table. I had a date pudding in Animator's Palette and it was delicious. One of the best desserts I've ever had in my life. And then the sweet bread from Rapunzel's as well. So, amazing food. 
Um, question number eight. Question item number eight, sorry. Try get on stage and participate in the game shows and win a quiz. <laughs> oh dear. If you saw my haul, you will know I did get a medal, but I didn't win it. <laughs> so if you've not seen it, I will explain. So on the last full day, me and Louisa did so many activities like the Frozen game show. I took part in that. Um... And we did Disney trivia and we just kept on saying to Mike and Tariq, we want to win a medal. Desperately. And we were so like confident that we were going to do it. And I mean, we were quite close to winning the trivia, but we didn't get one of the questions right, so we didn't. Um, and... Mike sort of recognised me in Fathoms because I'd been like taking part in the game shows all day and I'd not won anything and my friends went over to see if they could try get one for us and apparently he must have recognised them because by, he said by any chance are you guys friends with Lucy and they came back to the table with three Mickey medallions and that made my night. I was so happy and I literally walked up to him as we were leaving and said thank you so much because just a bit of pixie dust, like cast members, they were just brilliant. Always, always up for a laugh, smiling, chatting. Even if you were on your own for a second, you'd have someone with you at all times and they were brilliant. Okay, so question stop saying question item number nine this is one i did manage to achieve meet all mickey and friends gang including chip and dale i achieved that and i didn't think i was going to just because like i met all of the other ones apart from pluto and then i just happened to see him and i was like right i'm gonna get a photo with him and then I saw him twice with Donald and Captain Mickey on deck four and I got a selfie and a photo with them and the characters were just brilliant. And I did manage to meet Pluto, Goofy, Donald, Daisy, Mickey, Minnie and Chippendale and Woody and Spider-Man and Captain Marvel and four. So I met so many characters and they were all absolutely fantastic. I loved having a chat with Spider-Man, with Thor, with Captain Marvel and then just interacting with Woody and all of Mickey and friends and it was just iconic. I did also bump into Snow White and Belle waved at me and Tiana waved at me as well. So I got so many amazing interactions ones that I'll never forget and one of my favourite memories from the trip was the night we dined at Lumiere's our seat was right by like the front of the restaurant so we had a giant like see-through window and we looked up and saw Belle on the stairs and I was just like this is awesome <laughs> and I just felt like I was in a Disney bubble and didn't want it to end and all of Mickey and Friends characters were just amazing and I loved them all. And they, you do find that they do start recognising people because I met so many of them a lot around the ship and they were all fantastic, every single one of them. Um, and then last but not least, item number 10, meet new people. I did achieve this because so many people were coming up to me around the ship saying hi and just chatting and so many people as well recognised me because of my Donald Bound and it was amazing to just chat to new people and I definitely think I'll have new Disney friends for life. Like they've all been absolutely amazing and yeah, just stuff I'll never forget and I hopefully, fingers crossed, will be able to do another Disney cruise in the future or just go back to Disneyland Paris and Walt Disney World 
maybe as well, fingers crossed. <laughs> but I had such a magical time and yeah, so tomorrow's video will be my, I think I said my review, so it'll be quite a chatty video tomorrow, so I don't know how long it'll be, so I'll apologise now, just in case it's quite long. Um, and then on Thursday, I will be uploading a top 10 Disney Magic at Sea memories video, and I'm going to do that as like a little mini vlog, so like if I have pictures of a moment or like a video then I'll just put that in after I speak about the memory so yeah so thank you all so 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 much for watching this and all of my other videos if you did enjoy don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'm guessing that I'll see you all tomorrow with my next video this is Redhead Boo signing off bye